creek hadn't fished it in a while um mostly because the last time i was here over here on this back side where i like to fish where the deeper part is you, you couldn't see the water because of all these things <laughs> anyway it's cleared up a little bit and i've got a uh, spectator over here about a thousand pound bull going to watch me so i've got i've got fans over here anyway we're just going to throw around some ultralight stuff and See what happens. All right, the rod we're using, seen it a bunch of times in the videos before, it's a Bass Pro Air Streams. Six foot ultralight, 32nd ounce to a quarter ounce. Little 1,000 size reel, which I think is for general creek hopping, you know, bass and crappie, bluegill, stuff like that. 1,000 size is perfect. And we got her spooled up with some four pound fluorocarbon. we've oh there we go first fish first cast which can be a bad thing but we'll take it it's a red breast sunfish on the whoops on the trout magnet let's get a picture before i forget And I got to do some other documentation. Got it. Got it. What do we got? Got us a little bluegill. Good size. That's a that's a good average. You know, creek size bluegill. Chill, home slice. I'm going to get you some fame. See that there? You famous now. I believe we got some turkeys over there in the field on the other side of the creek. If not in the woods right here between my vehicle and the creek. I just heard some yelping from over there. We will go investigate shortly. He honestly looks like one of his back feet is hurt like his, his uh back right leg oh shoot well his back right foot not his leg Found him a good scratching post. Scratch, 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 scratch. There's a roll of soggy toilet paper. Yo, anybody want a roll of soggy toilet paper? Hit me up, I know what I got, so don't lowball me.
But yeah, I was, I was talking to the landowner. At least that's who I'm assuming it is about the fish in this creek and just right down yon way earlier this year. I was down there just dinking around after work like I am right now. And caught about a pound and a half, two pound largemouth, which is very, very large for a creek this size. Like it gets to about three, three, maybe four feet deep in spots. But for the most part, it's not very deep at all. This creek just runs a pretty, pretty long way. Good day for it. Yeah, at least it ain't a thousand degrees and humid outside. <laughs> All right, have a good one. Ah, oh, darn it. That ATV you're hearing is, I guess, the landowner here. Yeah, got it. The landowner stopped by to see if anything was biting. He had a pretty dog with him. I think it was a little border, border collie. I don't know. Either way, it's a tis but a puppy. Got us a, another bluegill here. I got a feeling that we gonna catch a fish somewhere in here. And that's over a branch too. Maybe I can get a dangle fish. Ooh. Oh no, no. <sighs> That's depressing. That's depressing. That was a very large war mouth. Got it. Don't come off. Don't come off. Told y'all I was going to catch you a fish off this side of the bridge. Another good bluegill. Good bluegill. Which really, they're all good to me. Itty bitty ones. Big ones, medium ones. They all good. I like my bluegill. Felt you hit that one hard. Like just a big old love tap. All right, honky. Another slab bluegill. Oh, you got a hairy butthole or something. Something hairy coming out of there. Another good bluegill. Uh, he, I guess I could have adjusted that. Oh, <laughs> dude. No wonder you fought so hard. Oh, 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 oh. 
big old chunky red ear sunfish like he hit that thing run to it and just tap it he just hit it at mock jesus Got it. I don't need my drag that loose. But it is a pretty dang good bluegill. There right there is every bit of an 8 inch bluegill. Don't get down in there to where I can't get you out. All right, if by now y'all haven't started wondering why I haven't shown several of the uh, releases for these fish, it's because I did a YouTube short for them and did it there instead of filming me talking like that. Anyway, that's why. And we got another one. And don't go to the bank. <sighs> Fart. There we go. Another really good, really healthy bluegill. Will I be able to get you? <clears throat> yeah. I love the way bluegill dorsal fins feel on the side of my thumb. two hours down here on the creek i hadn't fished it in probably two or three weeks now mostly because this backside over here that i like to fish in um was just covered up with leaves because i mean you can tell but anyway we caught 12 or 13 fish a good assortment of different species and i really just like this multi-species stuff because you know if i'm being honest i kind of tie multi-species multi fishing with catfishing even though there's a little bit of favoritism on catfishing there but, you know, it's, it just makes it easier to create content when you've got so many other options to work with. And like I've said in a couple of videos, going into 2023, I'm branching out and putting some different content out. I mean, it's still primarily going to be fishing, so don't worry about that. But there's going to be a little bit of other stuff outside of fishing included. Just other stuff that I'm really interested in, but never mentioned on the channel. So anyway, hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.